Philly Film Games. It's over. Welcome back to Philly Film Games. Still playing Legend of Zelda. But anyway, to continue on to the story that I was that I was talking about. Um. Yes, I I I can hear a lot of things that I really wish I couldn't. So I wear headphones all the time, and it's been that way probably a good ten years. Uh, I, I just can't, I can't, it's the only way I can, like, like my father always yells at me because he, he, like, why do you have your music so loud? It's because I want, I like to, like to actually hear it. Uh, he thinks that I'm deaf, but yet my hearing is crazy good. All the time, crazy good. Oh, crap. No, oh, this is problematic. Uh, get away. Ow. Ouch. <sighs> Get away from me. So, yes, I'm not... Any t Oh, God. Save and continue. Oh. Sorry. So, and... Yes, get in there. So, anyway... Like I said... I, uh... I always wear headphones. Like... Because... I've learned, and a lot, and a lot of you who are listening can probably attest to this. Uh, when you hear the conversations of some people, you kind of want to choke them to death. That something that dumb could come out of their mouth. I have that problem quite a lot. In fact, that's one of my telltales. When you know, like even my students are like, "Why are you always wearing headphones?" Because I'm afraid of hearing what you people say outside of class that would have to choke you for some of the ignorant things that a lot of you say it's just how it is it's nothing personal it's just how I operate oh jeez so <laughs> take it as you will and I mean I've heard some really dumb things in my life. Uh, one of my favorites uh, actually happened at the my farewell party um, when I was when I left the Lehigh Valley Brony Group uh, as their advisor, and uh, we had a. We had a uh, picnic um, at a local park, and uh, <laughs> I love that group to death. They are some awesome human beings, but there were some people, and they that section of this section called themselves uh, Dead Horse. They're a little out there. They're fun people, but they're just a little loopy. Um, Uh, what they would, they, they would always, th these guys that call themselves dead horse were about three or four guys and they would always dress up in different themes. Sometimes be business or classic, whatever. This time they decided to be, uh, warriors for Mad Max. And one of the things that they did is they brought a pinata to, to bust. They, they got a, they got a horse pinata. Unicorn pinata. Okay, cool beans. Matches the theme. But they had uh, stuffed it with Japanese hard candy, seashells, and something else. And uh, after... Uh, it just I, I never try to understand them. It, it's just beyond me. I never will. Uh, after the... 
Ugh, thank you. After, after that, uh, after the prizes were dispersed, so to speak, uh, they grabbed the seashells and were flinging them everywhere. And some of them went into the, the creek that just was right by the picnic area. And later on in the day, while we were there, there were some, uh, there was a parent and some kids. And <laughs> even when I think about it, it's just, really? This is what's going on in your head? And I'm sure it's just to, for him to, you know, prove to his children, hey, I'm not the idiot that you think I am. He, he's, they're playing in the crick for whatever reason, because they got nothing better to do. And he, he pulls up some of the shells that were part of the, um, <laughs> part of the pinata. <laughs> and he says the following. To, to his children. To his children. These young minds that he's supposed to nurture. To make them wonderful members of society. And I quote. Look kids. Freshwater seashells. You don't see those very often. How do I deal with that? How am I, as a human being, supposed to rationalize this man's existence when he says something like that? Look, kids. Freshwater seashells. You don't see those every day. Really? Really, bonehead? Freshwater seashells. Fresh water seashells. Okay. This is why I always wonder when I'm, uh, when I teach, why I get some of the most brilliant answers of all time in response to questions that I ask about a lot of things it's because it's not because they don't read oh no it's definitely not because they don't read and it's not the fact that you know Google aka Skynet answers everything for them can't really can't really bash on Google yes I can uh, because you know, they supply some money to me. Uh, it, it's, it's this, it's, it's not parents, it's not Skynet, or, no, it is parents. I was gonna say, it's not books, you know, because they're, they're, they're not reading it. They're wallowing in their own ignorance. I'll just say that right now. They're wallowing in their own ignorance. Most people are. But, oh, I gotta adjust myself. Arg, arg, arg. But, it's the parent who's telling his child, or children, as a young boy and a young girl, uh, telling them things that don't exist. Like, fresh water seashells do not exist. They don't. They never have, and they never will. I would understand it if he was talking about a freshwater crocodile versus, or a freshwater alligator versus a, a saltwater alligator. Yes, total sense. Makes total sense, because there are differences. Not in seashells. That's why they're called seashells. You idiots.
See, it's, 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 it's when I hear responses like that that I constantly wear headphones because I don't want to hear those sort of things. I just don't. It makes me want to cry when I hear things like that. What human being honestly believes that there are such things as freshwater seashells? They just, it just, it boils me. Boils me to no end. But, hey, it is what it is. <sighs> Yo! Brah, what do you want, little man? I want the flippers. I got money. Give me the money. Oh, I'm funny. Here you go, take it. Right, now I have the flippers. And that's a great time to tell you everything much more fun on Philly Film Games. That was stupid.